Greetings, and I know it's been a very long time since I've made a video. Um, summertime isn't a really good crafting time for me because I have horses and children and things. And I started a new job last fall, and it's just been really um, challenging to work full time over the summer um, and do all my other things. Um, I ha I had up until recently been a teacher in the K through 12 system, so I had my summers off. So I, anyway, um, this is a Halloween banner that. Um, I wanted to show you before I hung it. Um, I've been enjoying watching all of the different videos about Halloween banners, and so I decided to make one myself. And I'm really getting into the spirit of Halloween this year. I've got lots of Halloween projects going. Um, I got these this these skeleton garlands at the dollar store, and I decided to hang the skeletons between each of the banner pieces. And I used um, the die cuts with a view. Um, something spell, midnight spell pack for this, and a lot of glitter glue, and I used a lot of um, cutouts from my new silhouette. So I made these letters for my new silhouette, and then I added the glitter glue and pasted them down on some paper and, and cut around it. So there's how I made that, and there's a, um, a flourish behind with some glitter glue on it, and I got this um, Halloween butterfly at Michael's. So, and then all along the top, I put the Martha Stewart punch, um, um, the spider web punch all along the top. So then you come to the next piece. It's quite a long banner because I did Halloween one letter at a time. Um, here's the next one, and the skeleton is from my um, my silhouette. And there's the H and a little bit of ribbon. It's not super complicated, it's fairly simple, but it was fun to make. And then here's the A. Those are just some E-line flowers, and these little um, flowers I made um, with the little, um, with this punch, um, and some glittery, some glitter paper that matches the stack. And there's a spider that I cut out from my, um, from my silhouette and I added some glitter glue and then the next piece a flourish from my um, from my silhouette <clears throat> and this is one of my little flowers that I made with my punch and some ribbon that I sprayed with my homemade glimmer mist and then this one I really like this paper so I just didn't do much with it I just um, I just have this um, this little ghost that I cut out from my silhouette and you can't see it very well on the screen but there you go I put some homemade glimmer mist on it so he's kind of sparkly and then here's my O piece and this is just some kind of paper lace that I cut out from the silhouette and then down here it's a little paper tag thing like a charm that the silhouette had and I put glitter glue on it and attached it with a little bow and oh, his legs getting caught. There we go. Just the W, the paper again. Very, very glamorous paper. So I just put um, a little haunted house die cut from the silhouette on there. And I've been crocheting flowers a lot this summer because that's something I can do while I'm sitting um, with my kids or something late in the evening. Um, so this is just one of my crocheted flowers and one of my little homemade. Um, roses on there and then the E um, this fence um, was from the silhouette and I sprayed it with the glimmer mist and then there's this little cat from the silhouette with two little orange eyes that I used and finally the N again um, this this like bat lamp post is a silhouette design and then just one of my little homemade flowers and a lot of glitter glue so it's just very sparkly um, I hope you like it I'm gonna try to I'll hang it and I'll try to take pictures of it once it's hung and see if I'll, I can figure out how to edit them and add them so there you go